Hey guys, it's Robin back at you one more again for part two. This is your first time coming to my channel. Welcome, namaste, love and blessings to you. And love and light and namaste. And thank you for the support. And if you will kindly do me the honor. And please like and subscribe. Even hit the notification button. If you will be kindly enough to hit that notification bell. So you will know when I'm about to upload my next video. And please even give me a thumbs up and drop a comment. Hit me up if you feel the need to at the end of the video. And if you are a returning sub, thank you so much for coming to see what I'm about again. And thank you for the support. Love and light and blessings to you. And namaste. And today, my video is about, I hope everybody's doing good before I even tell you what my, video, my next video is about. I did one already, so I'm uploading another one. Um, I hope everybody's doing good on Sensational Sunday. And today, I'm listening to the instrumental of I Rule the World. Love them, love them, baby. I love that song with Lauren Hill and Nas. It's the instrumental. Um, I'm just jamming on the one today, y'all. I just had my little glass of wine. There's nothing wrong with that. It's the weekend anyway. Um, and just chilling. But I came across another video about the INFJs. They're talking about, you know, what, what we usually say if you're an INFJ. We have, well, when we always try to, you know, try to tell somebody something, we always try to make sure they understand us. Like, you know, sometimes we can jump to a conclusions and assume they were talking about one thing when it was another. But with INFJs, they always try to make sure you understand because sometimes we can be complex. <laughs> we can really be complex. I know I'm a complex person. So I know I, I'm just like, do you understand what I'm saying? Or do, do you, you know, just to make sure, you know what I'm saying? Just to make sure that they know what you're talking about. And there's sometimes I have a bad habit, guys, even though when it's not my fault, I will constantly say I'm sorry. If I feel bad and thinking somebody probably interpreted what I said wrong, because sometimes I can be very blunt and it's not like I'm being mean. Because I can sit up here and joke with somebody. I'm like, oh, girl, I got that. I ain't asked you to do all that. And I was just playing. But see, if somebody really don't know me, they would think I'm being bougie. Or they think I'm being rude. But it's just like, nah, that's how I talk. You know, I joke around a lot like that. You know, but there's a time to be serious. But there's a time to be, you know, you don't always have to be serious all the time. But, um, what else? Like before, I don't like small talk. We don't like small talks at all. And we always try to go help somebody. Even if we, we just like, if you need our help for something, knowing we hope and pray that they say no. But we really will go out our ways to really help somebody. It's just like I had a friend that hit me up today. And, you know, I'm just like, if you need somebody, just get away from my stuff for a while. Because sometimes your stuff can get stressful. So you would rather go help, go out there and help somebody else when you can't do no more for what you can do for yourself. And I'm not telling you to run away from your problems. But sometimes it's good to just take a, a break away from the stuff you got going on. And maybe, you know, there might be a friend or somebody that, you know, might need your help on something. Just even if, when it's just an ear. You know, they, you might not want to listen to stuff they're saying, but you know, you know how it gets when you might need somebody to talk to. It might be hard to do. And it's just like with certain situations for INFJ... It's just like if somebody's embarrassed about something or they feel belittled about themselves about something, we, we might bring up an embarrassing thing about us. It's just like, you know what? Don't feel bad because this and this and this and that happened to me. Just so we can take away, you know, get the, the spotlight off of them for a while. Just like, you know what? I went through this and I got over it. So can you. So, you know, I'm just like, oh, okay, you know, I've done that before. And it's just like we, you always try to go super save or something. And I'm not talking about super save a hoe, but I'm just talking about <laughs> super save or something. You want to super save this person. You want to super save this person. And you always go out your way to want to do that. And so it's just like when INFJs, they do that, you, you know, it, it's just so many things that it's just like it's good to know, to educate yourself on when you're going through stuff. You may be going through something like that. You feel like you're explaining yourself a lot. And sometimes we don't even have to do that. And it's just like, if I had to come to that point, well, stop explaining yourself so much because people are only going to understand their interpretation of what they want, their level of interpretation about it. Sometimes people can see you on your level and some people just take it for what it's worth and just take it what they see out of it. 
and go a totally different direction. But that's okay, too. You can't please everybody. But I'm not trying to hold you guys up today. Maybe you can resonate with what I'm telling you. You can go look it up yourself. This is just, you know, I already did the other one, but it was just like, we'll be saying the same thing over and over again, except I did it, you know, different version of it. But it's just like with us, we'll always try to go save the day. We'll be hurt when, when other people go through things because we want to go out our way to, you know, help some people sometimes when we got that time. Or we always try to find that time to go save somebody. But I'm not trying to hold you guys up today on a sensational Sunday, and I hope everybody's doing blessings. Please be responsible for anything you do. And I know the holidays are coming up, so y'all be careful. Don't eat too much. And if you do, go walk around or something. <laughs> Don't be gaining because we, you know we'll gain about 10, 15 pounds when you're eating that turkey, collard greens, or whatever y'all eat on whatever y'all take take on tur turkey day. It's 555, five, five, so it's like buckle your seatbelt. And it was a shift, you guys, that's going on. So, you know, maybe, you know, if you guys are synchronizing and seeing, you know, numbers and stuff like that, I've been seeing 13 a lot. I have been seeing 13 a lot, and um, it resonates with my dad's birthday. That's adding up like his, you know, the day of two, the the month and the day, and which ends up being 13. Or I see 1919, which is a good thing because it's like we going through your karmatic cycles. So everything, whatever, whatever you're putting out to the universe comes back to you. So you might be seeing signs and stuff that things are going good for your life, or it might be telling you signs that things you might need to change. But like I said, always look them up, because that's what I do. If I start seeing double numbers just mirroring each other, I always go look them up. Google's my best friend. <laughs> but I'm not going to hold you guys up today, and many blessings to you, and I will keep you guys, as always, in my prayers. Love and light, and namaste with you. And I, if I don't see you guys, talk to you guys before the holidays, I hope y'all have a blessed, prosperous turkey day. And I will talk to y'all on my next video. Peace, and be wild. Holla!